Okay, for this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your Google Doc in MLA format and also how to do your title page for your research project. Um, I just figured out how to make my cursor big and pink, so I hope everyone can see that. Uh, so here I am starting with a blank Google Doc. I just opened it. Um, what you guys need to do first is where it says untitled document, go up and up there, please type in your last name and type in either rough draft or type in the title of your project, whatever you need to do. Um, I want your name up there just so we don't lose it and I can easily search it in my email. Okay, so first things first. Uh, for this paper, we're going to set everything up so that it's an MLA format. We're going to start with our font. See how uh, Google will always give you Arial at the beginning? Click on the font. Make sure it's Times New Roman. Make sure the font size is set to 12. And then you're going to go to this little box here with this up and down arrow. You're going to click that and set it to double spacing. And then that's pretty much it. There are two little things we have to do left, and then we can go on and start making our title page. Uh, first thing I want you to do is go to the file option up at the top menu, and then go down the page setup and make sure all your margins say one right here. They can't be any other number. They have to be one. Okay. So if it is another number. You could just type it in right there. Um, make sure they all say one. If that's okay, hit okay. And then we're going to do one more thing. Go to the insert tab. This is for your header. Go to insert tab and go to where it says page number and then click the very first box. When you click it, it's going to automatically put a page number at the top of your document and move the cursor to the front, type in your last name and hit the space bar button. Uh, when you do that, every time you type a new page, it's automatically going to fill this in for you. When you are done with that, click outside the box and then your paper is set up and ready to go. So um, the first thing we're going to do is make a title page. I know this is kind of a throwaway thing, but it's MLA. It doesn't count to your page count. All right, but it's very easy. So the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to hit the enter key. Just keep it simple. Hit the enter key until you get to the, about the middle of the paper. That's usually around the four mark here on the ruler. Then once you hit it to there, go up and click the center align button. What you're going to do is type in your title. It could be whatever it is. If you guys are doing the historical event, if you're doing the Supreme Court case or the government one, it doesn't matter, but you're going to do um, the title of your paper right here. Okay. And I know it looks super plain. It's only 12 point font, but that's the way it is. The next thing you're going to do is keep hitting enter again until you get to the bottom of the paper. Okay, when you're at the bottom of the paper, sorry, when you're at the bottom, um, you're going to type in the MLA headings, right? So the first thing is your name, then your teacher's name, okay? Then your class, you can just type in your period, all right? And then finally, you wanna type in the day it's due, okay? So mine is due on the 31st of February. Um, everyone has different due dates, so make sure those are all right. When you do that, uh, you're finished for the title page. Now look here, do you see how already on our next page, um, at the bottom, there's it automatically filled in the header. Okay. So when you actually get to the first page of your rough draft, what you're going to do is you're still in center line. You see how my cursor is right there in the center, hit backspace once. It'll go to the side. And I know this is really, really dumb, but you're going to have to retype in all of your heading stuff a second time. So I believe I said it was due February the 31st. Okay. You go down below it, center again, retype in your title. Okay. Enter backspace. And now we're ready to start typing our paper. Um, notice how this stuff, if I double click up here, this stuff is not in that box at the top. Okay. It's outside. Do not write it in the box. If it's in the box, it's going to go on every paper and this stuff can only be on the first page. Okay. So we're back to where we want to start typing to indent. Remember, always hit the tab key one time, hit tab once, and then you can start typing. This is my intro 
in order to indent, I pressed the tab key one time. Blah, 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 blah. And that's how you set up your paper. So however long your paper is, you're going to type that all out. And of course, when you get to your last page, okay, so let's say blah, 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 blah. You did all that stuff, D, 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 D. This is finally my conclusion, okay? What you're gonna do there, once you're done with your conclusion, um, you have this last page now. What All you have to do is your works cited page that you've already turned in to me, uh, you're gonna copy and paste it for this one. So for your very last page, you have your work cited. Every single one of you, you turned it in, I corrected it for you. Go back to that document, highlight it, and copy it over, okay? Just use Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and once you're done with that, you've uh, you finished your research paper. Then you can submit on churnin.com. I'll get it back to you, and then you can do your rough draft. Anyway, I hope that helps. Please email me for any questions or go to our Zoom meetings, and we can do screen share, and I can show you how to do things um, either or, okay? I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Take care.